well, Merry Christmas or Merry Holidays, Happy Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, hope you hopefully you guys and girls out there are enjoying Hanukkah or just Happy Holidays or Happy Thursday. Regardless, I think I've covered all bases, haven't I? Sir Disney here, and it is Christmas Day, at least for this guy, and that means it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack. And for Sip and Snack this week, I'm actually going to go into some holiday-themed items. And of course, I have my trusty uh, glass of water to make sure that I don't uh, make any snap judgments or any wrong judgments. And obviously, this return, so just like I mentioned last week, we're back to cereal. And we have two cereals for you guys this week. These are limited edition cereals, and they're brands that everyone knows and everyone loves, but they're done with a holiday twist. And we're going to start off with one of my favorite cereals is called Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm sure you guys know what it is. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, everyone knows. The great crunch of cinnamon and sugar. It's awesome. You get your hands all, like, nice and like covered in sugar that's no issues and then like when you were a kid to lick your fingers and everything but still something that i always enjoyed throughout the years of cinnamon toast crunch well now it's the holidays so there is a version of cinnamon toast crunch which is we have the peanut butter toast crunch and we have the regular um like the french toast crunch now we also have a limited edition of general mills it's called sugar cookie toast crunch and I don't know about you, but these two guys that are not from Prep and Landing, regardless if they do have the awesome green Santa cap or not, I think that they are going to give us some magical, magical stuff here. So let's try this here. Normal, uh, basically it says, if you read this, it says delicious, there you go, better, delicious holiday sugar cookie taste in every bite. So basically, these are supposed to taste like sugar cookies. Let's see if they do. It's gonna be a short and simple snack. It sounds like at this rate. It's called me trying to open a bag. It's all this fun. And let's see. Immediately when you open the bag, it smells like regular toast crunch to me. Let's see what we got from here. So we're going to um, pour some into the uh, the bowl. My little bowl here. Okay, now right away, these look like, to me they look like they're frosted. It's kind of like Frosted Flakes and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They got together and they merged and this is what you've got. So let's see what they taste like. Obviously I'm a big fan of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm really curious to see exactly what these are going to taste like. So let's try these. Let's say I'm just going to try one. I have a little cup here, but we'll see if we try one. Yeah, definitely. They really are sugar cookies at Cinnamon Toast Crunch. These are good. Let's see if we can try it a little bit more just to be safe. Okay. The Cinnamon Toast Crunch taste is there. It's unmistakable. Anybody that's ever had Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you understand exactly what I mean when I say that. Like the aftertaste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch unmistakable. These right here, they taste like, like, like I said, they taste like sugar cookies. As Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is, these are amazing. I don't know exactly how these were created, but thank you out there, General Mills, for creating these things. These are awesome. Yeah. Those are really good. I like those. So, and we'll get some water to uh, cleanse the palate here. Since this is all sip and no snack, uh, all snack and no sip, we've got crumbs. Can't let them get a waste, right? So I shut this box and we continue with another cereal that I've loved throughout the years, and that is Cookie Crisp. Yeah, old school. And I've always been a big fan of Cookie Crisp. Everyone knows I love me some cookie dough. And this won't be the last time we talk about cookies. There's a lot of like cookies involved in this video. Because the first item, obviously, is Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch. This is Cookie Crisp, and there's cookies related in the third item. So, yeah, this is a cookie, holiday-centric episode of Sip and Snack. How could you ask for anything more? We're back to General Mills, and we now have 
our limited edition of Holiday Sprinkles Cookie Crisp. This is basically, it looks to me like, again, like sugar cookies, like de decorated sugar cookies you would decorate with your grandmother back in the day. I know I did it. I know a lot of you out there did it. You made cookies with your grandma with uh, cookie cutters and everything, and you sprinkled like a buttload of sprinkles on top of them, and you ate them, and it was awesome. That's what I think these are going to taste like. I hope I'm correct. If I'm not, this is going to suck. <laughs> so let's see. As we open the box. It's like an unboxing every time I do a sip and snack. It's awesome, isn't it? Right away, let's see if the uh, smell is there or not. Nope. Generic cookie crisp smell. And I'll show you guys. Immediately I can tell it's going to be what I think it is. So, yeah. Get a couple more there. That's a little bit more than I wanted to try for starters. If you're curious, it looks like this. See the little sprinkles there? It looks good. I love Cookie Crisp. I'm curious to see how it fares as something that's not chocolate chip. It's something that's completely different. It's a different kind of cookies. Like, if they want to do Snickerdoodle Cookie Crisp, I don't think it would get over very well. But, obviously, everyone loves homemade sugar cookies that you create with your grandparents. So, obviously, this is going to get over. Let's see what it tastes like, shall we? Just like with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If you've had it before, you know exactly what I say when I mean what I mean when I say this. It tastes like Cookie Crisp. Without the Cookie Crisp. That makes any sense whatsoever. Cookie Crisp has a distinct taste to it. Now the one thing missing from this is obviously the chocolate chips. Let's let's try a little bit more to see if there's any more to it than that. Let's try. Just a handful. We'll go with that. Yeah. I don't taste any difference. It's cookie crisp without the chocolate chips. And it says it's holiday sprinkles. Uh, I can't really taste the holiday sprinkles, so there's always that. Let's see what we got. Nope. Let me let me try the palate cleanser and just see if I can go from there. Alright. Water, cookie crisp. Yeah. These sprinkles have no taste whatsoever. It just tastes like cookie crisp without the actual chocolate chips. I have a problem with it. It's just not exactly what it's supposed to be. So, buyer beware. It's not It's not what you think it is. It's not going to taste like homemade sugar cookies. Um, the sugar cookie toast crunch is a lot more effective when it comes to that. Well, we're going to end with some candy, because obviously, what are the holidays about when it comes to eating? Obviously, the holidays are about, like, turkey and ham, stuff Owen doesn't eat. And when it comes down to it, some really lavish desserts. When we get to desserts, we're obviously talking about cakes, cookies, and pies. Well, Russell Stover decided they wanted to cover all bases in their cakes, cookies, and pies assortment pack. And I haven't opened this, and this is going to be awesome on camera because I don't have any scissors, so that's brilliant. Let's, uh, and I have no nails, as you guys know, uh, kind of nervous sometimes, kind of bite my nails, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, talk amongst yourselves while I try to break this thing open. Uh, looking for something to open it with, and of course I don't have anything. Let's use this. <laughs> Just my card from Cabana Bay. <laughs> Yeah, I should have opened this on camera. I didn't think about it, because I'm not smart. <laughs> okay, we're good. I got I got into it, so we're fine. So, obviously, Russell Stover's, they do all the stuff for Valentine's Day and everything. Obviously, I don't partake in that. But I will state that they do a lot of things for holidays, and they're supposed to be good chocolate. And they have been throughout the day, so this is the Russell Stover's Limited Edition Cakes, Cookies, and Pies. Oh, my. Obviously, Russell Stover's, everything is a nice, fine assortment. It's nice because we have, wow, let me explain what we've got here. We've got oatmeal raisin, which, yeah, wedding cake. We have red velvet cake, birthday cake, pecan pie, cookie dough, 
carrot cake, coconut macaroon, and that's it. So, we're going to see how this, I'll show you how it looks here. See, Russell Stover very nicely telling me what's in this box. So, I can tell you what I'm not going to eat in this. Um, oatmeal raisin, yeah, that's not happening. I don't like raisins. Oatmeal's fine. I'm not a fan of oatmeal raisin, never have been. Um... Obviously, we're, the pecan pie, not something I'm going to go for as well. It's, I'm not going to be a good judge of these things because obviously I don't eat them. Coconut macaroon, anything involving coconut, not going to go down that route. And I would go carrot cake. So, yeah, it kind of knocks out a lot of them. But I told you guys up front that I would be certain things I wouldn't try on Sip and Snack. And I'm not going to break my rules here. I will get the ones that I will try. And I'm sure you probably know exactly what I'm going to get before I do. That might be it. Yeah, that's it. I've got four of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm lame. I'm aware. So we're going to try wedding cake, which looks like this. And we're going to try red velvet cake, which looks like this. And we're going to try birthday cake, which looks like this. And I'm going to try cookie dough because Owen loves himself some cookie dough. So we're going to try these. And the rest of them, yeah, we'll just leave those aside. There's also an apple pie option. People know I don't like apples. I was very allergic to apples when I was growing up. I've never been an apple fan. I know what you're thinking. What What about LeFou's Brew at New Fantasyland? Um, you know, I've had it once. Didn't agree with me. Didn't like it. So uh, we're not going to go with that. So let's go with our first one. And this is going to be the wedding cake. That's close as I'm going to get. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, the bottom's interesting. Not necessarily what I would think. I don't know why it would look like that, but... Generally, wedding cake that I'm aware of is like a, a white cake, basically. So I'm curious to see what it tastes like when it comes to the chocolate. So, a water palette cleanser, and let's see what we've got here. Let's try this. Really doughy. Looks like this, by the way. I'm not sure what the green sprinkles at the bottom are. It looks like something that was left on the bottom of the thing. Let's let's try a little bit of that. Yeah, I get that. I get the wedding cake taste. That works. Um, the next ones are the ones I actually will like. We go with red velvet cake. Big fan of red velvet cake. Always have been. It's a dark chocolate variety. Or it's the darkest one. Yeah, it's the darkest one on here, actually. Except for the coconut macaroon. And it kind of looks like this. It's got the, it's got the, the swirls on top. Let's try red velvet, see what it tastes like. It's dark chocolate. Not necessarily a fan. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. Ever have been. But it looks like this. You definitely see the red velvet inside. Tastes like a red velvet candy bar, basically, is what it is. Kind of like a nougat. A, like a red velvet nougat for a candy bar. <clears throat> That's alright. No no worries. Let's try birthday cake. It's got sprinkles. It's festive. So it fits with all the other things we've got today. A lot of sprinkles. A lot of cookies. A lot of sprinkles. Very festive. Let's see what we got here. Well, first off, it looks like a Buckeye. And I can tell you it, it's not. But, both of you underwear, or unaware, because underwear, I just made you say underwear. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps if you get that song reference. But, um, yeah, it looks like a Buckeye. Basically, it's like a, a circular piece of chocolate, and if you bite into it, it looks, it's peanut butter. So, that's what this looks like, but I can tell you that's not peanut butter. Really doughy. 
really, really doughy. Oh god, that's so doughy. Um, <clears throat> the last one's cookie dough. It looks like this. Let's see what it's got. I'm sure this is gonna be the one I'll like the most. All right, cookie dough. And I can honestly just sit here and just eat an entire thing of raw cookie dough and not care because it's so good. Let's try this. I'm rocking my Kevin Owens shirt here. I'm eating candy on Christmas. It's awesome, isn't it? Let's see what we got. It's milk chocolate. I'm kind of expecting these to taste like cookie dough bites. That's what it looks like. Kind of? Well, not exactly. All these are extremely doughy. Um. Five up. No. After eating the whole thing, I can definitely tell the cookie dough taste. It actually works pretty well. Now, like I said, the other ones, like the oatmeal raisin and uh, the pecan pie and the carrot cake and the coconut macaroon, the apple pie, I would not be a judge of this because obviously I don't eat these things, so I can't tell you if they taste anything like they're... Uh, supposed taste that they're supposed to have but I will say <clears throat> by and large for me personally I know I've said this a lot on Sip and Snack this year but not a fan of these not at all um I know a lot of you out there might be and kudos if you are but I just no I don't, I don't really like these um wedding cake is just it, it's doughy white cake but you kind of can taste it but not quite birthday cake Tastes very generic. Red velvet cake. I don't like the dark chocolate. I wish it was like milk chocolate instead of dark chocolate. It doesn't work for me. Even cookie dough, you can barely taste like a cookie dough taste at the bottom, but that's about it. So, yeah, I'm sure the other ones are about the same. So, yeah, I can chalk this up to, at least for me personally, a fail. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of the Russell Stover's Limited Edition. Give me a Ghirardelli any day of the week because I'm a Ghirardelli guy. Or gear I whatever how you ever pronounce it so yeah yeah i'm a big ghirardelli guy how would you think you know when you can't pronounce it how do you eat it well i do eat it and it's awesome so yeah like lens and all the other like different chocolates i've never been really a big fan i've never been a really a big fan of russell stover's either so yeah i'm not really digging these the Holiday Sprinkles Cookie Crisp is fine. It's just like I said, I think it's buyer beware. It's not exactly what you're thinking it is. Uh, it tastes like Cookie Crisp. And even like, you can imagine the chocolate chips. It's the only thing that's missing from it. The big hit of today, honestly, and it's something that I'd say is worth your dollar if you really want this, is this right here. If you can get a hold of this, it does taste like sugar cookies. It's got the same taste, the same aftertaste as Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's basically like... You took Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you took out the cinnamon, and you added more sugar, and you gave it, like like I said, the sprinkles we should have had in these, they taste, even though they're not there, the taste of sprinkles is kind of there in these. So yeah, these are good. I like these. These are awesome. This, I mean, the Cookie Crisp is okay, but like I said, buyer beware, it's not what you're thinking it is. And um, the Russell Stover's Cake, Cookies, and Pies, yeah, that was a mistake, but... It's okay, no issues. I mean, that's what happens here on Sip and Snack. We find things I'm going to eat, we find things I'm not going to eat. And I'm rocking my awesome Mickey uh, Santa hat because it's Christmas and I wear Santa hat. So, yeah, that's what we've got for Sip and Snack today. And that will be the last Sip and Snack of 2014. And, of course, next week, January 1st, is the first Sip and Snack of 2015. Very excited to be able to uh, do some sips this time around. Focus more on beverages. 
and I may be doing that very soon. I have a lot of ideas for September, October, and December when I'm back in Florida, so that's coming very soon. The Simpsons video that I promised you guys that I did not get a chance to do, it will be coming in September, mark my words. I will be doing stuff from World Showcase. There's a lot of things I'm looking to try there. And I know what you're thinking, oh, and you don't try anything. Well, you're right, but I still want to try things that I think I might like. Stuff like this, obviously, I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I have a better success rate than I wouldn't, so there's always that. So, as always, I uh, want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching this brand new segment here on Pop and uh, supporting this brand new segment here on Pop. If you have ideas for Sip and Snack or would you like to send a video of yourself doing a Sip and Snack, you want it put on Pop, I can take care of that. Obviously, we know how to get a hold of me, and I'll give you exactly how in just a moment. But, like I said, beginning, I wanted to uh, wish you guys a happy holidays. It is Christmas for me. It's Christmas for a lot of us out there. It may not be Christmas for others, but like I said, hopefully you guys and girls out there have a very happy holidays and a very wonderful 2015. And don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Pop will continue daily videos throughout the year. And we got a lot of really cool stuff coming up. And I'm really looking forward to being able to bring you guys a lot of really cool stuff. Me, AJ, and Ashley, we're all going to be able to uh, make Pop uh, the juggernaut that it is. And you guys and girls out there will continue to watch this wonderful channel here. And uh, like I said, after I'm putting myself over, thank you out there for watching. Like seriously, from the bottom of my heart for uh, helping make this so successful. I mean, I started out with one video filmed on an iPod. And look where we are now. So thank you again. So as always, if you do like these videos and tell your friends about them, leave a comment, subscribe, help spread the word about Pop. If you haven't yet, go to Facebook, click like on our Facebook fan page. It takes a few seconds, it's Sir Owen Disney Pop on Facebook. Friend request me on Facebook at Owen Disney. Follow me on Twitter at, at Sir Owen Disney. And uh, last but certainly not least, if you have an idea for Sip and Snack, or if you have an idea for our other regular segments here on Pop, like Versus, or the Vlog of Randomness, or you want to uh, tell me what you thought of the video, the vlog of randomness from yesterday, or if you want to talk just wrestling, WWE, TNA, NXT, you want to talk about Halloween Horror Nights and my ideas for what's coming in 2015 for 25, I have those videos starting soon as I get some information. Those videos will go out as well. If you'd like to ask me questions I can't answer on here for good reason, you're more than welcome to do that. Or if you'd like to become a podcast yourself, you know how to do it. Send your email, Disney at gmail.com. So in the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls up there for watching. Quick programming note real quick. i uh, let you guys know tomorrow will not be AJ's movie reviews due to the fact we have to watch four movies and they're all very long. At least they're starting long and they go shorter by the end. Four movies takes a long time, so... AJ's movie reviews will not be on Friday. It will actually be on Saturday. Saturday afternoon, mid-afternoon, late afternoon, we'll have that video up for you guys. We're going to be talking about Unbroken, Into the Woods, Big Eyes, The Gambler, Wild, and uh, possibly some more. So uh, AJ's watched a few things recently, so we might get his ideas on a couple of things like... Who knows what's going to come with those videos. Brand new verses coming up on Sunday, and that'll be the final verses of 2014. Should be really fun going out with a bang. Our circus-themed verses. So that's coming, and as always, thank you guys and girls out there for watching. Have a happy holidays, and until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I gotta say about that.